So congratulations Thank on you. lots of things. Um, you're in People's uh, Most Beautiful, which uh, I love this picture of you in here. Thank really, you. really great. So healthy looking and happy, which is, you know, that's a, it's a great thing for you to show that you can get to this this place of health that you're at right Thank now. You. Do you know about this, Maxim's Hot I didn't 100? Know. <laughs> it comes out next week, actually, or actually this week while, while we're talking. It's not out yet. But you're number 26 in uh, Maxim's Hot 100. That's so weird. <laughs> How does that feel? What does that make you feel? It kind of makes me feel weird. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I just I, I I'm not really the type of um, artist that really likes to show a lot of skin, and so to be in that is. I guess it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And especially from someone you've been very honest about. I did not know about the bipolar thing, and I don't know a lot about yeah, that. But that I, joke went like this. I know, yeah. I, know <laughs> I, I know that you're very honest about other issues that you've had. Yes. You've talked about things that, that you've struggled with. And so to come from that to, to be in the most beautiful and, and to be named, that must mean something. Yeah, you know, it is because a lot of the times, too, that list isn't just about like the most good looking people or whatever. It's about like who has a lot of projects coming out too. So to me, I look at that list as business. Um, the most beautiful issue, I mean, that's just pure awesome. But like, I, I don't get it with the whole Maxim thing, like the hot thing, but whatever. Um, that means it's cool. Um, but I, I think it does, it shows a lot that I've come like really far within the past two years. So yeah. it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you, you sure have. Thanks. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Um, so, I would imagine a lot of young girls come up to you and, and say, you've either saved my life or you've, you've helped me get healthier. Yeah, a lot of girls have said that to me. And honestly, I can't tell you what, I can't even like put it into words how incredible it feels to hear that. Mm -hmm. Because I think that when you're on television and you have, I don't think you have an obligation, but to me, it's, it's nice that you can actually, you know, be a face for something and, and for you to help young girls that are struggling with an eating disorder, bulimia, cutting, whatever it is, and then they see that you're happy and you're healthy and you get through it and get to the other side. I think that's important for young girls to see. Yeah, it, well, well, that was weird. <laughs> They started to clap, and then I started to talk, and that just got awkward. Um, <laughs> no, what's actually really cool is, and I kind of just had this moment right now where I realized it, that um, I, when I went into treatment, I was, like, so hard on myself because all I wanted to be was beautiful and perfect. And if you would have told me, I guess, like, two years ago that I would be on this list, um, I just, I don't think, like, it wouldn't have made sense to me, and it kind of still doesn't right now, but um, it... It's pretty cool. Well, you just never know what's around the corner, and I think that's the most important thing. Whatever you're feeling right now, however dark and deep it is, you actually... I know you scared people I'm not on scaring you right now. You said around the this, corner. This, this would be the greatest time to scare somebody, is right <laughs> when I've got you at your most vulnerable, telling you. <laughs> no, what's around the corner is that a lot of girls think that right now is everything. High school is everything, and it, it isn't, that you, you, that you can get past that. You can get to a place where things are better, and I think that's 